Welcome back to Top 10 Magazine. My name is Tom, and in this video, we want to take you on a spine-chilling journey into the world of the creepiest abandoned asylums and hospitals. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Top 10 videos like this one. Number 1. Danvers State Hospital. Danvers State Hospital, located in Danvers, Massachusetts, was originally known as the State Lunatic Hospital at Danvers. The hospital was designed by architect Nathaniel J. Bradley in the Kirkbride Plan style, which aimed to create a therapeutic environment for mental health patients. Over the years, the hospital became known for its imposing Gothic architecture and massive size, which contributed to its eerie appearance. However, as patient numbers increased, the facility suffered from overcrowding and insufficient resources, leading to subpar living conditions for the residents. Reports of patient abuse and mistreatment surfaced, adding to the hospital's dark reputation. In 1992, the hospital was closed, and some parts were later demolished, while others were converted into apartments. Number 2. Waverly Hills Sanatorium. Waverly Hills Sanatorium, situated in Louisville, Kentucky, was built in 1910 to accommodate tuberculosis patients during the height of the tuberculosis epidemic. The sanatorium is famous for its five-story building, designed to maximize sunlight exposure and fresh air for the patients, which were believed to aid in their recovery. Due to the severity of the tuberculosis outbreak, Waverly Hills saw a high number of patient deaths, leading to rumors and stories of paranormal activity. Legends of ghostly apparitions, phantom footsteps, and strange sounds have made Waverly Hills a magnet for ghost hunters and thrill-seekers alike. Number 3. Penhest State School and Hospital. Penhest State School and Hospital, located in Spring City, Pennsylvania, was established in 1908 as an institution for individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities. The facility consisted of multiple buildings and housed both children and adults with various disabilities. Over the years, reports of patient mistreatment, neglect, and unsanitary conditions surfaced, leading to a class action lawsuit against the state. The lawsuit exposed the institution's appalling conditions, and it was ordered to close in 1987. Today, the abandoned buildings serve as a chilling reminder of the dark history of institutional care for people with disabilities. Number 4. Byberry Mental Hospital. Byberry Mental Hospital, officially known as Philadelphia State Hospital, was established in 1907 as a psychiatric hospital in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It was initially designed to provide modern, humane care for mental health patients. However, due to a lack of funding and resources, the hospital quickly fell into disrepair, and patient care deteriorated. Reports of patient abuse, neglect, and unsanitary conditions contributed to its notorious reputation. By the 1980s, public outcry and investigations into the hospital's conditions led to its closure in 1990. The abandoned buildings became a subject of fascination for urban explorers and those interested in the macabre. Number 5. Beechworth Lunatic Asylum. Beechworth Lunatic Asylum, later known as Mayday Hills Hospital, was a psychiatric facility located in Beechworth, Victoria, Australia. The asylum was established in 1867 with the intention of providing a more humane and progressive approach to treating mental illness. However, the hospital faced challenges such as overcrowding and inadequate funding, which eventually led to a decline in the quality of patient care. The asylum officially closed in 1995, leaving behind numerous abandoned buildings and eerie corridors. Tales of ghostly encounters and apparitions have made Beechworth Lunatic Asylum a popular destination for paranormal investigators. Don't forget to like and share this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to our channel for more top 10 videos like this one. Number 6. Taunton State Hospital. Taunton State Hospital, located in Taunton, Massachusetts, was established in 1854 as one of the earliest psychiatric hospitals in the state. The hospital followed the principles of the Kirkbride Plan, with an emphasis on providing a therapeutic environment for patients. Over time, the hospital faced challenges, including overcrowding and insufficient funding, leading to a decline in patient care. By the mid-20th century, the hospital's role shifted to focus more on chronic care. It closed in 1975 due to changes in the mental health care system and concerns about its aging infrastructure. Today, the abandoned buildings stand as a haunting reminder of the hospital's history. Number 7. Ganjium Psychiatric Hospital. 
Ganjium Psychiatric Hospital, situated in Gwangju, South Korea, was a psychiatric facility that operated until the early 1990s. The hospital was known for its remote and ominous location, surrounded by forested hills. After its closure, rumors and urban legends emerged, suggesting that the hospital was haunted and cursed. The story spoke of patient mistreatment, unexplained deaths, and strange occurrences. As a result, Ganjium Psychiatric Hospital gained notoriety as one of the most haunted places in South Korea, attracting curious visitors and ghost hunters. Number 8. Hellingly Hospital. Hellingly Hospital, originally known as the East Sussex County Asylum, opened its doors in 1903 as a psychiatric hospital. The institution followed the standard Victorian asylum design, featuring imposing buildings and large grounds. Over time, advancements in psychiatric care led to changes in the hospital's approach to treatment. By the mid-20th century, the hospital's role shifted to focus more on geriatric care. Hellingly Hospital finally closed its doors in 1994 due to changing treatment practices and the shift towards community-based care. The abandoned complex now stands in a state of decay, adding to its eerie ambience. Number 9. Athens Lunatic Asylum. The Athens Lunatic Asylum, later known as the Ridges, was established in 1874 to house and treat mentally ill patients in Athens, Ohio. The hospital's architecture was designed by Levi T. Schofield in the Kirkbride plan style. The asylum aimed to provide a therapeutic environment for patients with mental illnesses. Over the years, the hospital faced challenges, including overcrowding and limited resources. As the treatment of mental illnesses evolved, the hospital's role shifted, and it became known as the Ridges. The asylum closed in 1993, and the abandoned buildings are now part of the Ohio University campus. The institution's history and legends of paranormal activity have contributed to its reputation as a haunted location. Number 10. Montino State Hospital. Montino State Hospital, originally established in 1930 as the Montino State Hospital for the Insane, provided psychiatric care to thousands of patients in Montino, Illinois. The hospital followed a self-sustaining model, with patients engaged in farming and other activities. Over time, as advancements in mental health care occurred, the hospital faced challenges related to overcrowding and patient treatment. The hospital closed its doors in 1985 due to changes in mental health care practices and the shift towards community-based treatment. The abandoned buildings remain, with eerie reminders of its past and legends of ghostly encounters. Want to see more top 10 videos like this one? Subscribe now and join our community.